All right, guys. Well, I'm actually on my way to pick up my travel trailer. Can you believe it? Uh, it's been a little less than two months. So I'm excited to see everything that was fixed. Let's go. All right, guys. So we got most of the RV fixed. I say about 95% of it. Unfortunately, you're still going to have to return it at the end of the camping season because we're pretty much at the start of the camping season and I don't want to lose any camping time. So at the end of the year, I'll winterize it, return it, and then we get the last thing completed on the RV, which is the slide that's tearing up the floor. All right, there she is, or he. Um, this is the window that I had duct taped. So I have to still clean off all this duct tape residue. But apparently they resealed it again for the third time. Hopefully uh, third time's a charm. They also stated that they fixed this outdoor kitchen that we love so much but can never seem to get the door working properly. Whoa, nice. Okay. So they replaced both of these and it seems to be working good now. Whoa. So let's go inside, shall we? It's only been a little less than two months, but it's felt much longer than that. Let's turn the lights on. So the backsplash was another issue. Ooh, nice and smooth. Looks good. Hopefully it'll stay that way. So the front window, the slide is for later. They fixed the backsplash, they fixed the outdoor kitchen. And the flooring, that's something that's gonna happen later as well. So the flooring and the slide still hasn't been resolved. Oh, and as for the roof, there was a little bubbling on the roof, but I decided to tell them not to deal with that because I have no roof leaks. If there is a leak, then we'll deal with the roof situation. And lastly, as for the water pump, they're saying that there was just air in the line and that the outdoor shower was still open and that's why it didn't pressurize. So it might've been my fault for not double checking that um, that outdoor shower was shut off. And I was charged for that, unfortunately, but whatever. I ain't salty about it. I got my RV back. It's been a while since I backed up an RV. Mind you, I'm trying to do this while I'm filming. Cause your boy's a G. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let me show you what I'm talking about on the roof because uh, to me it's minor, but they're acting like they have to replace the whole roof. But that's not something I want them to do because on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably about a five satisfied with General RV's uh, service center. So 
so I do not trust them tearing off this whole roof and that there's not gonna be a leak after they're done with this. This was the issue. Right here, this bubbling or this loose PVC roofing cover. To me, that's quite minor. It is a 10 year roof, so within the next 10 years, if I have a leak of some sorts, then I'll get it done. <coughs> Stay tuned. Probably be another day, I'm gonna come back and get this thing camping trip ready. Keep watching.